Good morning, everybody. Sports Live in the ATL Sports and Fitness Channel. How are you doing on this Friday? Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Birthday coming up on Wednesday. Birthday cash app. If you care to throw a little money my way for celebrate my birthday, if you can't make it around here, just because you're feeling generous, dollar sign H I V I N G, and just send a message saying happy birthday, Slitta, uh, and all that. And also, the Atlanta Braves, as we know, were, were postponed on Thursday. So they're making it up today. I will not be streaming the game today. I will be getting off about 30 minutes before the game, but uh, I want to work out. I'm not going to be able to work out tomorrow. Tomorrow is my off day from the gym, and I do not want to go two days in a row without working out. So I will not be streaming the game today. Uh, if it's still going on by the time I get home, by some chance, and it's a close ball game or whatever, I might pop on, uh, but don't count on it. Uh, I will not be streaming the game Saturday. I might stream the game Sunday. My friend, he might want to do some things on Sunday, like a grill out or something, like pre-birthday. And again, if you're in the area and you want to hang out with me for my birthday, et cetera, et cetera, please uh, let me know. Uh, this video right here is about the Atlanta Hawks. I tell you, the Atlanta Hawks have been a massive disappointment for three years for me. Since that Eastern Conference final run in 2021, they have succumbed to the play-in tournament. And they have made it to the playoffs the last two years, but they had to go through the play-in tournament to do it. And looks like they're going to be in the playing tournament again this year. Uh, very disappointing. But with that said, any kind of postseason basketball is better than none. Uh, they got to do some things this offseason for sure to, you know, uh, just they had to add some better players on this team. What's that? What's that going to entail? I do not know. But they have to do something because we can't keep going through this stagnant, just borderline below average up and down you don't know what's going to happen every game because the hawks can beat a lot of good teams but then again they lose the teams that are 30 games under 500 like charlotte washington just terrible they would be in a lot better situation however uh trey young a superstar player allegedly by some and i've given trey young a lot of negativity throughout the years for not being that guy but he's balled out this year considering that he doesn't have a lot of help. We have some talented pieces on our team. But Trey Young, when he was in the lineup, guys, our defense was invisible. We would give up, a, we would give up 140, 150, 130, 120, 145, 135, it seemed like every night. We'd have to outscore these guys. See, unfortunately, Trey Young got hurt February 23rd against the Toronto Raptors. He has been out ever since. I believe he is close to coming back. But since he got hurt, the Hawks are 10-7. and seven. Their defense is a lot better. They don't give up a lot of high-scoring games. I would say probably average maybe 105, 115, maybe. Maybe slightly lower, as opposed to almost 120, 130 points a game, it seemed like. They're more defensively uh, oriented. They look a lot more crisper, even though I'm not going to sit here and, and be a hypocrite. I have not really watched Hawks games all year because I just can't stand the type of play that they play, and it's ridiculous. But come the play-in tournament, obviously I will watch it because it is postseason. Now, if the Hawks can get this team right during the offseason and give me some entertaining basketball and play up to the way that they're supposed to during the regular season, I'll watch more regular season games. But when you got to watch every game – and every game is the same, 150 to 140, and you lose or win, 130 to 125. You lose the bad teams, you beat good teams, and you're teetering around a play-in tournament. That's, that's uninteresting to me. However, this last 17 games, the Hawks have played a lot better. They've beaten Cleveland. Uh, they've beaten Boston twice. Boston, the best record in basketball. This week alone, come back from 30 points down a couple days ago, win. And then in overtime on a last second shot by Murray last night beat the Celtics. Hawks currently stand number 10. That's the final play in tournament spot. They're like a game behind nine. They're like maybe five or six games behind the Sixers for the eighth spot or whatever that is. Um, I would expect the Hawks to either be nine or 10. 
for what it's worth but it's it, it it's i'm still not there where i'm going to watch them yet until the put to the a playing tournament starts but they are beginning to get interesting now the question that i have is are the hawks better off with or without trey young because apparently with him on the court they don't play defense and they they one of the best offenses but they don't play defense defense wins titles when Trey Young hurt, everybody gets involved. Bogdanovich, Akonglu, Murray, Krejcik, I think that's his name. Um, everybody that comes in. So everybody touches the ball. When Trey's on the court, it's, you know, it's basically revolving around him. So I'm very pleased, at least with the fact that the defense is playing better. There's more pass in the basketball. And it makes you wonder, is Trey Young, will he be a a hawk for life something to think about that is something to think about because there's no name on a jersey that's more important than the, than the name on the front if trading Trey Young will make us a winner and more entertaining to watch I would do it because I don't want to have Trey Young if we're just going to be mediocre and have be in the ninth, 10th spot if we trade Trey Young get some players and we can be three, four seed every year and make a run in the playoffs, great. But to have Trey Young and just teeter around nine or 10 in the play-in tournament and eliminate it in the first round, there's no point. There's no point of having a so-called superstar if you can't get the superstar status as your team and win titles. It makes no sense to me. It's, it's like just wasting his time and wasting our fanhood and the team's time. So that's something to think about during the offseason. When he comes back, we'll see how, we'll see how the team looks down the stretch. But I'm kind of liking it without Trey Young, honestly. That's my own opinion. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.